root, stem and leaf. Everyone has seen a plant. We see that it has roots, a stem, leaves and flowers. Have you ever thought of the functions of the various parts of a plant? Let us look at each part of the plant separately. The root. Roots grow underground. Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. Roots hold the soil particles firmly and fix the plant in the soil. The excess food prepared by the leaves is stored in the roots of some plants. Different types of roots Fibrous roots Tap roots. Though there are different types of roots, they perform the same function in different plants. Did you know? Vegetables like carrot, beetroot, turnip and radish are actually roots. Stem. The stem supports other parts of the plant such as the branches, leaves, fruits and flowers. The stem transports the food prepared by the leaves to the different parts of the plant. The thin tubes in the stem carry the water and minerals absorbed by the roots to the branches and leaves. The stem usually grows above the ground. Did you know potato, sugarcane and ginger are all stems of plants? Leaf, the food factory of the plant. Leaves grow on the stem and the branches. Food is made in the leaves. Chlorophyll, the green pigment present in the leaf, helps the plant to make food. Thus, a plant needs plenty of green leaves to be able to make sufficient food. Now let us look at the leaf more closely. The mid vein runs through the center of the leaf. From this vein, a fine network of veins is spread all over the leaf. The mid vein of the leaf has rows of two types of cells. Rows of one type of cells bring in water and minerals to the leaves. Food prepared by the leaves travels to other parts of the plant through the second type of cells. More about leaves. 
the lowest layer of cells on the leaf have openings called stomata. Air enters and exits through the stomata. Leaves take in oxygen needed for the respiration in plants. The excess water reaching the leaf is also given out through the stomata. This process is called transpiration. How do leaves make food? The chlorophyll in the leaf absorbs energy from the sunlight. Carbon dioxide from the air is used by the leaf to prepare food. In the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll, the leaf uses carbon dioxide, water and minerals to prepare food. The prepared food is in the form of simple sugar which provides energy for the growth of plants. How do leaves prepare food? The process by which green leaves prepare food using air, water and minerals in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is called photosynthesis. Photo means light and synthesis means combining of things to prepare something new. Food prepared by the leaf is in the form of sugar. How do non-leafy plants make food? Let us have a look at the cactus plant. Cactus is a plant which usually grows in the desert. The leaves of the cactus are modified into thorns to avoid the loss of water due to transpiration. In the cactus plant, the food is prepared in its thick green stem. How do non-green plants make food? Have you ever noticed mushrooms growing on moist wood? Mushrooms do not contain chlorophyll and hence cannot make food. They absorb nutrients from the dead and decaying plants and animals. Have you ever noticed some ornamental plants like crotons growing in your garden? The leaves of crotons are red in color. The red pigment in leaves hides the green color of the chlorophyll. Though the green color is less, the presence of chlorophyll in croton leaves allows photosynthesis to take place. Did you know? There are plants which eat small animals and other insects. These plants are called insectivores or carnivorous plants. Venus flytrap is an example of one such plant. Their root system is too weak to extract nutrients from the soil. Hence, they take nutrients from animals and insects.
flow of energy. The sun is the main source of energy. The energy from the sun is used by plants to prepare food. Plants give us the energy we need to perform our activities. Herbivores like cows and goats eat plants and obtain energy directly from plants. When omnivores and carnivores eat herbivores, they indirectly get the energy from plants. Recap Roots absorb water and minerals from the soil. Roots hold the soil particles firmly and fix the plant in the soil. The stem supports other parts of the plant such as the branches, leaves, fruits and flowers and transports the food prepared by the leaves to the different parts of the plant. The leaf is called the food factory of the plant. The process by which green leaves prepare food using air, water and minerals in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll is called photosynthesis. The prepared food is in the form of simple sugar which provides energy for the growth of plants. What did we learn? Non-green plants like mushrooms live on the dead and the decaying matter, whereas protons can make their food in the presence of sunlight. The leaves in non-leafy plants like cactus have been modified into thorns to avoid loss of water. The sun is the main source of energy. Energy flows from the main source sun to the plants and then to the animals. <laughs>